These are excellent choices for the coming problems. Stop using the word war, since no one seemed to be preparing for it, except for a few. Look, look how small that gets, packable backpacks. And right now, if you go to the Walmart, if you're in Columbus, Ohio at least, <clears throat> this stuff's on clearance at every Walmart, and the price has just dropped even more. 250 for a pack of we'll backpack. You buy one of those to fill with like 10 of those, and then you'll have a bag full of bags for when you need them. Because let's get real, what's probably going to happen is everything's going to fall apart. All your backups, and all, they've been telling you to prepare for story, storable food and all this shit, and you know, hole up in your house for the rest of your life. And the reality is most people are going to end up having to flee from where they're at. And so once you're on the road, you're going to pack like the 10 things you need the most because you're not going to be able to carry anything. And then you're going to run into other people and other stuff you can find that's really valuable that you're going to want to pick up. And you can share these items with other people so you can expand your storage capacity. So, you know, I'm already... I'm already ahead of you. I was buying these when it was on the $5 price tag. Right now I'm buying some more. I'm going to hand them out to some homeless people I know. You know, tell them uh, I got bags I'm going to get rid of and stuff. Uh, I'm going to give them a couple bags. I've been buying way too many bags. Too bad they... No, nah, too bad none of these homeless people lived in my area when I was getting kicked out and moved around house to house because I had like thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars worth of awesome shit any of you would have loved. You don't have to be homeless to love free Xbox 360s all modified and to the modified in different ways to make them, you know, excellent machines. But, the, you know, think about it. When you're doing this stuff, this is what you're going to need. You're going to end up hitting the road eventually. Your house ain't going to be safe. You understand? There's going to be things happening that's going to make your house unsafe. I, I can't tell you for sure, but I just feel that I've never felt the need to uh, hunker down in a house. You're going to want... It, it's their tracking and their location. You're not going to want to stay in the same spot. If you're anyone of any moral consciousness or value in trying to expose a system of death they're bringing upon us, they've already brought upon us in the world and it's only going to get worse if you're anywhere near trying to do that you're going to be a person of interest you are going to be hunted do you understand that you can't sit down in fact i just answered my question by doing this video you're not going to be able to hunker down in your house if you're a good person because you will be a target they will send other humans after you they're mind controlling people at the very least they're using the media to do it but they're doing it in other ways they've been doing this for thousands of years their technology is far advanced over yours and their spirituality it doesn't it's not really advanced but it's there and they've convinced you to get rid of your spirituality and they've severed your ties with the gods they've severed your ties with your ancestors everyone each one of us no one knows who we are anymore everything's been erased from our past every thought and belief of god has been erased every idea that this world was created has been erased every idea of the truth has been erased so whatever you've been told you best your ass, you best bet your ass you start thinking against what you think and these these backpacks you get one of them you put 10 in them you know what i'm saying even even a your little daughter can carry one of these filled with 10 of these right and just they become so valuable they'll become so valuable now these aren't the strongest backpacks in the world obviously but you're not gonna you're not gonna carry around these aren't i wouldn't trust this 30 dollars either maybe maybe that one that's e-sport that's only 20 but yeah serious you're gonna have to start thinking i'm a master of thinking outside the box you can call me retarded or whatever you want it works whatever brain defect or, or a function i have works in my favor because i've turned it into my favor just like you your skills you think you're useless you think you're nobody you're flipping burgers at mcdonald's that's all you've done your whole life clean toilets you've got other skills and now is the time 
to spend a few hours reevaluating all those images, all those memories that God has allowed you to keep, that God has put in your head, and you keep wondering, like, you know, hey, I was a terror, hey, I was a nightmare, hey, that's useless, I used to sit around and do nothing, you was doing something. You just don't see that yet. And now is the time to reevaluate all the nothing you did in your life and look at it as a positive tool set. You change that around. Even if even if this stuff doesn't happen, even if I'm crazy and they're not closing in some power grid where they're enslaving everyone and making them wear masks and lying to them and they've never been killing anyone. Maybe I leave Columbus, Ohio and it's all a fucking show that's been played upon me the whole time. Right? Maybe, maybe the Palestinians, and maybe that land doesn't even exist. Maybe that's why it was locked down and I can't fly there. Or maybe I'm right about what's about to happen and everything that's coming up. And I, I think logic dictates I'm right. But what is logic in a world we can't explain what it is? What is it? What, what is logic when at the bottom of the end of the day, my logic is being guided by unseen hands and was given to me before birth? What is logic? But anyways, logic is being able to see shit that you do not see as valuable today. That becomes the tool of utmost importance and value tomorrow. Today, gold is worth everything. You think in 2021, gold is going to have any value? It's going to have value to the people who have been making us mine it for years because there's something about that gold. There's certain strains of gold thereafter that they like ingest or something I'm not sure to keep them alive or whatever the Rothschild types I'm not sure what's going on and it's hard to believe any of it because it's all them telling me and I have to sort through what's real and what's not if any of it's real if this isn't just some nightmare I get to wake up from someday but things like this worth their weight in gold 250 right now at the at the Walmart I'm at you spend twenty dollars on getting a bag full of these bags, and you have something. If you have like a big vehicle, like an Escalade or something, there's a few items you can stock up on that no one's telling you about. You're not going to be safe hunkered down in your house. Think of what I just said. Your target. They're watching us. They're tracking us. Once you refuse that vaccine, you're not going to be allowed to be hunkered down in your fucking house. Fucking listen to my words. If I'm speaking a lie, you fucking turn this channel off. You unsubscribe to it right now. You stop listening to the lies. You stop listening to Alex Jones. You stop buying tangy tangerine in, in a house full of rice and beans. You're not going to be able to transport a house full of rice and beans once Trump sends the military to put guns to your head and tell you to take the vaccine, you're not gonna be able to transport a house full of rice. You're not gonna be able to cook rice. Do you understand that? Then it's not gonna be as easy to make fire as you think it is. It's, a, it's gonna, it's a, it takes a long time to cook some food. How are you gonna sit down and hunker down for an hour and a half and cook some rice? Just to cook some piddly freaking rice when they're after your ass. You think it's gonna take them an hour and a half to locate you? You got rid of your smart devices, everything. They know where you were 30 minutes ago. They send four choppers out. They got you. They got you. But the good thing is, is choppers have extreme limitations. They cannot carry large amounts of fuel. Although, I suppose they have circumvented that. And especially because I've just said that out loud. They will circumvent that further. But be on the lookout for what is really going on. And what is really about to be valuable in this world. And you're not going to be able to transport a house full of fucking storable foods. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to prepare to get out of Dodge and keep running from Dodge. And you're not allowed to leave Dodge. Keep that in mind. They've locked us in this nation. You're locked. You're in a prison. That's the end of it. No one wants Americans in their nation. That's what they're telling us in the media. And it's because they're all working together. They're all trying to keep us in and they know we're like... We're the idiots who think we're free and we're the idiots who might be dumb enough to try to free ourselves from the tyranny that was always there just we thought just popped up yesterday and they're going to chase you around Dodge constantly and they're going to kill a lot of us 
It, we're, we're not all going to be expert marathon runners. How many times have you run a marathon? How many times have you been first, second, or third place in a marathon? I was. I was once. Overall, I believe I was like second. Uh, there was one person behind me. And I got like nothing for being second at that school marathon. But. Oh well. I know I did it. So whatever. I was first in my grade in the run. Only people bigger and older than me won. Only a person bigger and older than me won. But anyway, so I could run around all day long, right? How many of you are going to run out of breath the second they send a drone after you? See, they're not even going to be sending choppers after you. They don't have to send a, a $500,000 Apache after your ass. Four of them, right? They're not going to have to do that because they're going to send fucking automated drones after your ass. So get in your head what's important right now, what you're going to need. What's about to come down the road is some serious shit. And it's not going to be hunker down and store, store some rice and beans because you're going to be hunted. Understand that? You're going to be hunted for your decision. 